In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create SEO optimized blog posts in Kartra. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create blog posts in Kartra. Now, Kartra is not a fully fledged blogging platform, so there are going to be a lot of shortcomings, but it technically can make blog posts and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. I'll go over some of the shortcomings and I'll show you how to optimize it to get the best results from SEO as well. So we want to start by going to my pages and then we want to create a new site. This is recommended. It's not required, but it's recommended. So you could go to new site and you can call it something like whatever blog, your blog. So as you guys can see here, I have one called Kartra blog. Now, once we've created our site, we want to start creating pages within our site. So you go to new page, you actually scroll all the way down to blog posts. And then you can see there are actually a few templates here for blog posts and you can preview them and select one. I'm actually going to show you a post I've already built for the sake of time. So let's jump right into one of the pages. So once you've selected a template, you're going to get something just like this. And what this is, is no different than any of your landing pages. It's just a static page that you can edit every single element. And so you can go in here, you can go in here and you can click and edit and you can change anything you want, just like all your other pages in Kartra. So now talking about some of the drawbacks and the shortcomings. So for example, you see related posts here. This is not dynamic. This literally is me going in here and creating these pieces of content and linking to them manually. So Kartra has no dynamic logic like WordPress or any other blogging system that's going to say, oh, what have you published most recently? Let me just add that dynamically. So these are basically landing pages that you can use as a blogging system. If you're really serious about blogging, I probably wouldn't use Kartra. I'd probably look at something like WordPress just for that component, but you want to do everything with in Kartra, you're on a budget, then you know you can do it. So as you can see here, I've just built out the page, just like any other page in your landing page builder, you can add in sections, you can add in stuff here. And one little cool thing Kartra does is out of the box, the blogging platform comes, you know, with this little share piece built in, and they're going to have this Facebook plugin. So trying to make up for some missing blog functionality, but uh, you know, and those are out of the box with the templates. And uh, now I want to just hop over to the SEO side and you should be doing this with all your pages anyways. But if you go over to SEO parameters, then you can add in your page title and your page description and you want to fill these in accordingly, hit apply. And that will make sure that you have the right title tags and whatnot from a search engine optimization perspective. And then finally, the last thing I'll show you guys is when you go to publish live, Make sure you edit this page, right? Because it's going to be page slash blah, blah, blah. You know, just this random string of characters. Make sure you make that an SEO optimized title. And so you can see here that these are all the pages. And really, that's what the blog is. It'll just be a collection of static pages. One other thing I haven't personally done, but you can if you'd like, is you can actually create a blog homepage. So if you, there's the posts we saw themselves, but if you go to blog home, you can go here and you can actually, I'll just preview it for you guys. You can actually create a homepage here. Now, there's many other options. Just remember that none of this is dynamic. So once you make this homepage, all of this content you see here, you're manually adding. So that is the reason why I skipped making a homepage. It's just one less thing for me to manually configure. But if you have content that's evergreen and can last for a long time and you don't have to constantly keep refreshing, then it may be worth you know the one weekend of work of setting the homepage up and all the posts up and everything one time, right? And then if you can periodically add to it. And of course, while there are tons of drawbacks with Kartra, the one advantage is that it's integrated into all the other tools. So you can use your tags, you can use behavioral adaptive marketing if you want certain sections to only appear to certain people. So things like that, that you wouldn't be able to do in WordPress, right? You can have your videos have dynamic triggers and all of these things. So there are some advantages to it, but generally speaking, I, unless you have a very special use case, I would use a real blogging platform, but it's good to know that Kartra can do it and that is how you do it. So if you found this video helpful, give me a like. Uh, if you want more great marketing automation, digital marketing, entrepreneurship content, consider subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.